Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Jonathan Greenert, and Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Mike Stevens, recently talked to sailors at an all-hands call in Norfolk, Virginia, about women in combat. Women have been in combat for some time. So I'll speak to the Navy first. I know that much better. I studied it. Women are in every mainstream uh, unit type model series aircraft and ship type that we have today. Women are not in submarines, but we're moving to that in a deliberate manner, and you probably saw all that. And they're doing fine. The women that are on a submarine now, they've been on now for over, over a year, and they're qualifying. They're doing great. The crew response is good because they get voted, if you will, in uh, to, to serve certain watch sections when they get exams and stuff like that. We provide support to the Marine Corps in certain units, of course, corpsmen, uh, chaplains, medical, uh, a thing called Angelo, uh, Anglico, I'm sorry, like that, which is support for uh, air ground, and, and they, they're opening that up. So it's just a matter of how many women want to do it, how do we integrate it smartly. It's not a matter of do we integrate it. But literal combat ship is designed for women. You know they're on Arleigh Burks, you know they're on cruisers, you know they're on carriers. So we're pretty much there. When it comes to special warfare, that will be up to the special warfare commander as to whether women should serve in direct contact, billets and all that, and, and he'll work that. He's committed to doing it, it's just that what the specifications will be and what women want to serve in that regard. Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta officially lifted the ban on women serving in combat positions earlier this month. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Amara Timberlake.